Hello everybody, it's Several Tool 4 for another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. In the last episode, we went through the Yampi Desert. We finally now reached El Hafra. We also have Scoop. Let's listen to this music for a little bit while we talk to people. I considered making this the ending theme for the videos, but eh. Finally, we made it! We're here! Where's the Elder? <clears throat> He's coming now. <gasps> Ooh, are we here? I feel like I just walked 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. <laughs> I feel like I could walk 500 more. Yep, there we go. Just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. Sorry. This is El Hafra. <sighs> it matches a pretty, pretty big place, but this town's huge. We didn't come to El Hafra to shop, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> We're here to bring Briggs, uh, bring in Briggs the Champa. I know that. And we should go straight to speak with Al Hafra's mayor. We're in no shape to present ourselves to the mayor right now. Look, Briggs is obviously not here. Besides, we, know, we already know Piers is... Uh, silence! Seems Al Hafra has felt the effects of the tidal wave as well. Yeah, we keep seeing this, don't we? Sheesh. Looks like they suffered a good deal of damage. That would explain why Al Heifer doesn't seem to have any boats for sale either. You know, just looking around, I get the impression that the only uh, that they only had one boat to begin with. <clears throat> so if you really needed a boat, the only way to get one would be to steal it. Hmm, but wouldn't that cause quite an uproar? Which means the pirates must still be here trying to get a boat. So you think we've actually caught up with Briggs? No doubt about it. That's why I want to meet the mayor of Al Hafra before the Champa steals ship. Oh yeah, I get it now. In that case, let's go see Al Hafra's mayor right away. I'm an old man that looks like just like the other old man. Um, say, excuse me. Eh? Where would we find the mayor of, of Al Hafra? Uh, the mayor? Over here, and just kind of get lost in the middle of town. Praise the sun god Leto over there, and just kind of you know, ramble on this way. Where the hell am I going again? Just keep going down this road. It's the last house. You can't miss it. <laughs> Sent him right to jail. But anyway, it's time to check out all the people in the town. Hello there. Mr. Unsuspecting and Unassuming Man? Unassuming Local Man? Hello? Well, I guess it's time to put Shiba to. Hi. Oh, this ain't good. That guy just looked like the mayor of Madra. Oh, he must have come here looking for breaks. I better go tell the others. Oh! What's your problem? What are you, some kind of freak? Well, what? You got a problem? Yeah. I want to read your mind. Ah, uh, who cares what you think? I got something to do with so scram, kid. Or was I? Oh yeah, I was gonna tell him about the Mayor Madra. Looks like this well doesn't get a lot of use. I guess it's because it's so far from the main part of town. Come on, it's like 20 feet. Oh, that's a good sleep bomb there. Oh god, right. Now that we have reveal, we can just do that. Also, there's a chest up there, but yeah. Alhafran Cave. This is kind of their jail. Everything's so boring here. Why isn't anybody doing anything criminal? <laughs> oh, 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 sir. You don't want that. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, loot the graves. Those people look like they can't. They're totally exhausted. You don't suppose they passed the Yampi Desert to get here, do you? Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. Uh, but yeah, there should be. Oh, uh, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven, eight, six other treasures around here somewhere, so that's not reveal. Uh, yeah. I don't want to check the jar, I want to look in the oven. It looks like some kind of seafood soup. <laughs> Youch! Seafood soup! It smells like the ocean. Yeah, that's what's left of Ultros. Uh, let's rest at the, uh, not rest at the end. Wow, this is an item shop, Dobie. Good job! How you doing? If all my goods are damaged by seawater, they'd be useless. I have to throw them all away. I'm lucky the wave missed my shop. I like that the, they gave different, like, shop NPCs, because they kind of deserved it. Tidal wave knocked Indra into a seni, is that true? Yeah. Really? It's just so hard to believe, you know? Still, it would explain the massive jolt we felt right after the tidal wave hit. It's a good thing you're all basically just islands. Right after my boat got crushed, a group of men came by asking if I had one for sale. They are pretty swarthy, like they might have been sailors or something. Alright. That's cool, kid. Got the, uh, temple here. In the middle of Osenia is a terrible village where they worship a foul and vengeful god. People of Garrow brought the curse upon them. I hate these people. They're all terrible. Like, the only good one we've ever found was the one in our village, I think. I don't mind helping people in need, but I won't be taken advantage of. We're taking care of some people whose house was destroyed by the tidal wave, but they're so demanding. It's in the oven. Seafood pie. Ugh. Reputation for having a fragrant smell precedes it. Oh, what with all these demanding house guys? I feel I've lost from control of my own house. It really hurts when, when you feel that. Aren't you thirsty, my dear? Oh, you're right, dear, I am. Sorry to bother you, but we like some tea. Are you talking to me? If you want tea, you can go right ahead and fix it yourself. Oh, oh my, oh my, young people these days. We lost our house in the tidal wave. The master of this house offered his home to us. But living with other families isn't easy. Ha! Ah, they're absolutely exhausting. I say, it seems a lady. The house is no lady at all. Yeah, so essentially it's everybody not taking into account the feelings of everybody else. A massive tidal wave hit us and destroyed every ship in Alhavra. Oh no. Town ought to give money to all the people who suffer from the tidal wave. That way, maybe the innkeeper could afford to make us better food. See how full our inn is? You think we've make money hand over fist, but that's not true. We just don't have the heart to charge the people who lost their homes. Uh, I'll pay for your inn. I'm a good person. Right? I am. Maybe you've noticed, but a lot of folk have lost their homes in the waves. Don't mind them. I don't think I've had a bite of meat or fish ever since setting foot in the sin. It's all half his famous broiled lobster. It's bigger than I could have ever possibly imagined. The innkeeper told me to use only the cheapest ingredients to help save money. I mean, that sounds bad, but you're also feeding like 10 people now. I'm hungry, my tummy hurts, when's dinner time? Not my tum tum. I can't believe the innkeeper is renting out more rooms when we're as busy as this. Shush. The innkeeper serves his paying guests better than meals than we get than we all halfrens get. That's so cheap! I want gourmet meals too. I pay for it though. I heard there's only one person staying in the room next door. Can't they just move one more person into that room? Like me? We have a bear this discomfort in this place until our homes get repaired. Whoa. Why do we all have to be cooped up in such a small room? I was supposed to sleep with grandpa grinding his teeth all night. Literally grinding his teeth. My pops has been looking around and it's easy. mayor keeps all his treasure underground. He says south of the palace. Pl yeah, but that's all I know about. Hmm. I don't forgive the mayor for failing to come to our aid when we were all suffering. I wonder what I can do to make him suffer. Our guests are very upset with the mayor. I just hope they don't do anything rash. hope the mayor's treasure room doesn't run too close to the prison. If those thieves sound that bad, they dig their way out in no time flat. Uh, I'm sure that's not going to happen. Come on. <gasps> so... You finally come. Excuse me. I had suspected we might run into each other again, since we're both looking for boats. Unfortunately, the only boat this town possesses has already been sold. I will be resting here in Alhafra a bit longer. I have traveled long and hard, and I am weary. Perhaps we can get along at least until we both depart. 
What a jerk. We found an apple in a thing of water. The broken mast in the ship they sold won't be easily fixed. That is, as long as we add ups don't do anything about it. Hint, cough, hint. Really, I do wish you would quit <laughs> using your mind read on me. Trust me, my thoughts will probably will become all cl too clear in due time. That's that's not uh, menacing at all. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, we should get stinking food. Uh, attack! Yeah. That's not uh, no. Okay. Did we go in this house? Yes. Da 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 da. Bum bum ba da 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 da. It's in your oven. Seasonal veggies boiling with some lamb meat. The oyster seasoning is really tempting my tummy. These guys, those guys who bought the boat looked kind of shabby. But I hear they paid Mare a whole lot of cash for it. Oh, so uh, Ness brought in the wad of cash that he was going to give to the person in the theater to free the Runaway Five. Okay. I don't care if it was broken. The mayor shouldn't have sold the town's only boat. Yeah, so the mayor sold... Yeah, as this guy and Alex said, the mayor sold a broken boat. Um, I don't know if you can tell, the mayor's kind of a jerk. <laughs> we were here already. He's he's kind of a jerk. Also, there's a puddle. If only there was something we could do with that puddle. Actually, there isn't. That's just that's just the thing telling you that that there was a tidal wave that came through here. Ask me anything in bad armor. Okay, do you have anything cool? Uh, nope, this old stuff. I assume that you don't have anything particularly interesting. Nope. Nope. Cool. Yeah, thankfully we're all caught up with that. Our port was, our port was ruined by the tidal wave, so kids aren't allowed there anymore. Well, all I want to do is see it turn into a giant woman. Giant woman! Sorry. Let's head up to the mayor's palace here, I guess. Hi. No one's allowed to be on this point. Don't even think about it. Not know what, not know how. The mayor said no one goes through it, and I mean to make sure that no one goes through. None shall pass. None shall pass. Also, uh, let's just take a look at this scene over here. It's just this, the, the ocean going to, to forever into the horizon. Is that not beautiful? That is beautiful. Do you want to see the mayor? Sorry, he's meeting with some visitors from Madra. Maybe you can see him once he's finished with them. Yeah, so we gotta go and do other stuff. Ba -da 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 -dum, bum -bum. Let me guess, you're here because you want to buy a canoe. Sorry, I'm totally backlogged with pre-orders. I'm gonna be up late fishing as is. Ah, people pre-ordering stuff. I don't have a problem with pre-orders, I'm sorry. That boat of the wharf uses a sail, so it's much more efficient than any galley. But since the mast is broken, it's not going anywhere. What a waste! Um, I don't think we can actually get to that till the water dries up. Hmm. Maybe? I don't think we can get around that. No. As, as you progress in the story in this game, the water will start drying up in places. If you remember, it kind of started doing that all the way in uh, Dyla. But, uh, yeah, so we got nothing over here. Anything here? No. Anything here? Yes. Alright. Dovey, don't, don't do that. I mean, Felix, don't do that. It's no use! The mass just won't budge, no matter how many people we get to help us. We're gonna have to get all this junk off the mast first. If we could just get some decent footing, we could have this thing clear in no time. There's more to it than that, though. We still have to do something about that rope over there. Untangling that will be a piece of cake once we get the boat we can use. Get a boat we can use. Yeah, a piece of cake, except for that huge rock over there. Oh yeah, the rock. 
Damn it, Dwayne. How are we supposed to get the get the mast out from under that thing? It's huge. There's no way we're going to be able to move it all by ourselves. Well, either way, we can't do anything until Zack finishes the canoe. Um, Zack's kind of dead. Um, but that that's a different Let's Play. What's your problem? You're new in town, aren't you? Yep. You're probably curious about the ship. Yup. They call us a sailing ship. Wind is only the only thing that'll make it move. Isn't that incredible? Yup. Yeah, well, think how surprised we were to find that all half has learned to build sailing ships. I suppose the age, the age when anyone could sail the seas was bound to come someday. You're probably saying to yourselves, what? That's That sounds dumb, but remember the only other ship we encountered? The only ships, I should say, we encountered were highly advanced ancient technology magic ships and the galley in the Caragol Sea. So this is actually a novelty. I sent my pal to town to get some supplies, but he came back looking pale. He went straight down to Dr. Briggs and I haven't seen him since. You probably shouldn't have said that, um, that you were talking to Briggs. Just, just saying. Paid big money for this ship. It's ours now, so don't you go crying about it. We could just raise the mast. We could head back to Champa. Yeah, but there's a lot of stuff wrong with this ship, unfortunately. You're crying, you're crying now. Uh, that's not the deal. Okay, let's see what else is in the ship. In here, I use up the. Yeah, I did, okay. The, the fancy items. Hey, Briggs. The mayor of Madra? Here? I like this guy. He's a jerk, but I like him. They're certain. How did he know we came to Al Hafra? He knew we needed a ship, and he knew we went east. It seems pretty easy to me. Oh. Uh, well, yeah, when you put it that way, it doesn't make sense. He was looking to find the mayor of Al Hafra. He must be hoping the mayor will tell him where we are. He'll probably tell the El Hafrans we're pirates too, huh? Pirates? That seems a little unfair. <laughs> what do you mean? We are pirates, aren't we? No, oh, ho, Phil! <laughs> stop it, stop, stop! I mean, we've taken all sorts of stuff that didn't belong to us. That's only because everyone in Champa would starve otherwise. We don't have any choice. There's always a choice, sir. Uh... Even then, it's never a lot. But what's not? The stuff we take. We never take too much from any one town. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, they're they're quote unquote noble pirates, but that's still piracy. And why do you think that is? <laughs> they're not noble. Uh, why? Because you can never tell how well how these wealthy towns will react. It's too risky, right? Yeah, if you steal enough from wealthy people, they'll just hire a, hire a samurai, and you'll all be dead. But yeah, which is why we didn't steal anything from La Hafra. Right. That's why we avoid the risky towns and just take what we need from the others. You do what you want to do, be. You are a pirate. Stop it, Dovey. That's why we're our, that's why you're our Captain Briggs. You've got brains coming at your ears all over the floor. There's nothing brainy about that. <laughs> Jenna. <laughs> she just had a Garrett moment. <sighs> Did you hear that? It sounded like a girl. Who's out there? What do you think you're doing? Don't you know that someone has been falsely imprisoned for your crimes? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, what's your point? You have to come with us and attest that man's innocence. Or, and why would I want to do something like that? Oh, I was hoping we could avoid any ugliness, but you leave us no choice. We'll bring you in against your will if we must, but either way, you're coming with us! Isn't that right, Felix? Nah. <laughs> After what they've done, come on, we need to make them fess up. You don't stand a chance, we're hardened criminal types. We eat punks like you for breakfast. I love the writing in this game. Watch yourself, you self-righteous little brats! You're the ones with a lesson to learn. 
For boss time against Briggs and Sea Fighter. I didn't give Sheba the other thing because I don't think Briggs can use uh, synergy. He is a human character after all. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's use Ragnarok for the first time, maybe. I. I'm on one hand. I could summon them around. All oh, right. I have that equipped still. Uh, let's use the Salamander. And we'll have Shiva do the attack. And Briggs can summon extra Sea Fighters, so be careful. Um, I think he has about 980-ish health. As being a human character, he's also yeah. There we go. Uh, being a human character, he's also going to be weak to all the elements. So that's good. <laughs> I love Ragnarok. I don't know how much health the Sea Fighters have. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just focus our attacks on Briggs and eventually, probably, uh, eventually, probably summon them all into oblivion. Nice job. Good, good job with your with your bombs there. Wow. Yeah, we're we're going to probably kill him before we can actually summon anything particularly good. Uh, let's use cannon on that guy. Yeah. So ether restores the PP of one person as opposed to um, Ember from the previous game. Who was it that restored the party's PP, which was just a little bit? But now we can summon Ramses, the man in gauze. Also, Procne, which will probably kill all three of them. Let's be honest. Procne! 107, you're dead. 227. Oh wow, he's not actually dead, which means that it's going to be. Oh, okay. Jen is defending. Ramses, the man gods, the man gods. Ramses, the man gods. Who's definitely gonna kill? No, he's not gonna kill Briggs. Wow. Um. Well, I guess he has one turn left. You are going to use plasma. That targeted the wrong person for that. Wow, you're just gonna keep summoning people. I guess this is a good way to. Uh, Get uh, experience, I think. Yeah, you know, let's start. Let's stop. Uh, stop beating around the bush here. Let's. Uh, let's blow. Let's blow up Briggs. Bye bye. No, really, and he heals him too. Well, Narrate's gonna do it, right, Narrate? No. Did his HP scale with the uh, with the game? I don't know. Does does the game do that? I wonder. Um, uh, let's do Salamander. If you don't die this turn, I'm going to be extremely surprised. Wow, that hurt. I'm glad I healed up Jenna there. There we go. Yeah, wow. Um, Dovey, in editing, tell me how much damage he took. Minus the, uh, what's its face? The, the whatever it was that, that he got. The herb. Ramses, the man goes. Oh, I thought that would kill him. <laughs> I'm upset. Wow, we got a nice amount of experience. And we also beat the living daylights out of every single one of them. Well, that takes care of that. I wonder if you can't kill him until he has summoned all of the four pirates? Hmm. I don't think so. Hmm. Anyway, I'm willing to bet everyone in, everyone Briggs has been harassing will be quite happy to hear it. 
This should set everyone in our Indra at ease. They all seem to fear the pirate Briggs, the dread pirate Roberts Briggs. We lost. Even pirates have honor. I'll go quietly. I won't make a scene just because I lost. Go on. Hand us over to Madril, Haffer, whatever. Good. First off, you can tell the Madrins that the man called Piers is innocent. Fine. So what? I just have to say Piers isn't one of my men? Yes. That's right. You can tell the Madrins that and they can release their prisoner. We have secured Briggs's vow. We should take him to the Madrins. Wait. Can't you find it in your hearts to forgive Briggs and his men? And who are you? My name is Ch Chaucha. Chaucha? Chaucha. I'm just gonna say Chaucha. Chaucha, I'm Briggs' wife. Gasp! So you're a pirate too? No! Chaucha hasn't done a thing! Let her be! I know Briggs and his men have caused some great trouble with their piracy. Stealing YouTube videos, using ad block, and I know their crimes cannot be ignored. If you know all that, then how can you ask us to forgive him? The only reason Briggs became a pirate was to help the people of Champa. We Champa are a seafaring folk. Our livelihood depends entirely upon the sea. But in recent years, the sea has changed. We can't live the life we once could. The oceans have warmed and the fish have vanished from our waters. The soil in Champa is rocky and barren. No crops can grow there. Not even like rice? No crops? And you have no grains and no meat? It sounds like life in Champa is hard. It's not hard, it's unbearable! Our children can't eat! Our village is dying! These men promised to return with food enough for all our people, but they found none. So they became pirates. Thieves. We don't know where Champa is. It sits on the southeast corner of Angara. Southeast Angara? Isn't, isn't that where Jian and Lama Temple? Isn't that near Jian and Lama Temple? You have a good memory! If you were to head south through the mountains, you'd find it. Yes, yeah, so it's on the other side of the mountains. We can't get to it from the first game, sorry. That's so far away. Well, yeah, you think we would be successful pirates so close to home? If they raided any towns near Champa, it would be obvious to all who the attackers were. Also, I don't think there are any towns near Champa. And no one back home knew, could forgive me if they knew, not even my grandmother. But where does that leave us? Are we simply to accept your looting here on Indra? I'm shocked, I tell you! SHOCKED! No, I have to give him a... I have to give him a... suitably... dumb voice. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a pompous voice. What's so shocking? It looks like they really are pirates, just like you said! Mr. Mayor, I am appalled that you could not take our word for it. He probably wouldn't even have believed we were from Madra if the mayor hadn't come. Where am I supposed to believe the accusations of a complete stranger? Is this your position, Mayor? How can I be expected to believe a tidal wave could wash Indra into Senia? Or that a group of men could walk on foot from Madra all the way to Alhafra? It sounds to me like you had forgotten about us altogether. I'm not sure you remember the last time we met, do you? We met when I was just a child. It must have been more than ten years ago now. Twenty years! It has been twenty years since I last saw you! Has it really been so long? It's been a long time indeed! I guess we can't blame you for forgetting his face. Don't be silly, I didn't forget his face. His face really changed. <clears throat> Forgive my interrupting your interruption, but... Would I be correct in assuming I'm speaking to leaders of Madra and Alhafra? You're correct, I'm the mayor of Madra. And I am... Um... 
<laughs> I am the mayor of Alhafra. I am Madras Town Elder. And I am a close personal friend of Shin, whose lover was injured by the Tampa. I am the scholar Craden. Half this game is us introducing ourselves to people. He is Felix, the leader of our group. You know him well. He's finally back. Stop it, Craden. Sorry. I'm Jenna, Felix's sister. I'm called Sheba. I come from the town of Lalavero. We're nodding, nodding, nodding. Yes, yes, it's all nodding. So what errand brought you all here? What the heck? We came for break. The mayor of Madra claims... We followed Briggs here from Madra. And of course, we have good reason to suspect them of being pirates. Yep. <laughs> yes, I was honestly taken aback to hear a businessman being slandered. If they are truly all pirates, then why would they go to the trouble of buying a ship from us? Yes, Because the very funds they used to purchase the ship was pillaged from our homes. If the ship was brought with Madran gold, then it belongs to the Madrans. What do you say? If you give them the ship, will that fix everything? Then where will you go? I won't run, I won't hide. Actually, I don't feel up for much of anything right now. Then you probably won't mind being locked up, will you? Briggs. Don't worry, Cha-Cha. I'll be back. I'll be back. Take care of Eolio. Eolio. <laughs> Eolio. I don't know. I like that name. I love I love their kid's name. What kind of dumb name is Eolio? It's probably not a dumb name. It's probably used somewhere in the world, but I love it. Your strange power surprised me, but even without them, you would have overwhelmed us. I like how the game just, like, throws you at thieves in like you know towards the beginning every time we'll be taking the boat then you're taking our ship you're worse than we ever were aren't you at least gonna pay us for the boat quiet all of you do as you must but i have one request you have to let chow chow and Yolio stay in the boat until it's repaired you haven't done no half any harm Riggs. At least keep them locked up until the boat is repaired. And our prisoner Piers, is he one of your men? I don't know any Piers. Sounds to me like you made a pretty big mistake. At least he did that for us. See? It's just as I said. Piers is innocent. You must return to Madra and free him immediately. Me? What? Alone? Only two of us will remain here. You can return to Madra with the others. Understood. We'll return immediately. Can you come with us, please? Looks like that wraps this whole mess up. Let's return to my mansion for a nice cup of tea. You say your name is Craden? Thank you very much for the help for the help with Briggs. If you have the time, please come see me at my mansion before you go. It's nothing special, but I would like to thank you for everything you've done. Why do we get the feeling the mayor of Al Hafra prefers to deal with my father over me? Thank you. I thank all of you very much. That's just what happens when people know each other. They don't. They don't respect authority, they respect relationships. Due to your efforts, Piers is going to be released. Yay! And now, this fine ship belongs to Madra. None of this would have come to pass were it not for you. Thank you. Unfortunately, I don't have any reward I can offer you here. Ah, uh, Pishbog. We don't need any reward, do we, Felix? Yes, we do! <laughs> Your honesty is refreshing, Felix. So what shall we do? Hmm. Oh, I know. Come to Madra after our boat has been fixed and we've sailed home. 
We're still recovering from the effects of the tidal wave, so it won't be much, but we do want to give you some kind of a reward. Shall we be going? <laughs> do, do, do. I see, so... Hmm. Oh, oh no, like, never, never mind! <laughs> I do get to stay on the boat, right? At least until it's repaired? Yeah. Yep, that's where I'll be if you need me. With the Olio. I'm not suspicious. I kind of feel bad for Chow Chow. What can we do about it? After all, she's the one married to a pirate. What should we do now? I suggest we try to find Pierce. He could prove enlightening. It's true, he seems to be a water adept. He might be able to tell us a little about these lands. Do you think we should help them fix the boat? Say, if we help with the boat, maybe they'll give us a ride back to Madra. Good idea! Of course it's a good idea! Sure, why not? Alright, let's go see what we can do uh, to get this thing sailing again. Which we are going to do in the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching. This has been Sephiroth 4 with Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. And uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.